This is CNN Breaking News. All right, if you're just joining us, I want to bring you up to date. The Supreme Court has just ruled that closely held companies cannot be required to pay to cover some types of contraceptives for their employees, ending its term with a legal and political setback for a controversial part of President Barack Obama's health care reform law. I want to head back out to the U.S. Supreme Court because Pamela Brown is standing by with Elise Hogue from NARAL, an abortion rights group. This is a blow to this group as well. Absolutely it is, Carol. Uh, this is Elise Hogue. As you She's the president of NARAL Pro-Choice America, and she has a strong reaction to today's ruling here at the high court. Alisa, you told me that you're disappointed. I am extremely disappointed. What we saw today was five male justices essentially rule that discrimination against women is not discrimination at all. In fact, their narrow judgment said that it's absolutely okay for bosses to make personal decisions for women about our health care, which we pay for. Which with our labor, and that's unacceptable. And make no mistake, as Justice Bader Ginsburg said, this is startling in its breadth. This opens a Pandora box, regardless of what the court has written, to other bosses imposing their personal opinions on their workers. And that's not what we stand for. We value religious liberty, but that means that I don't have to do anything I don't want to do, and that I don't get to tell you what to do. And I think today is a sad day for women, a sad day for religious liberty liberty and a sad day for the Supreme Court. But, but just to recap, this ruling is basically saying that these closely held companies can be exempt from providing coverage for four types of contraception. How do you feel this will impact women? I think at immediately tens of thousands of women who are employees of these companies will either be out of their birth control or will absolutely have to double pay because we already pay. And that adds up at the end of the month. That adds up for these hourly wage women. But I think the more disturbing precedent that was set today was when five male judges said this discrimination against women is not considered discrimination and I think the application of that as we move forward is going to be very frightening. And, and at least we spoke to the attorney for Hobby Lobby and she made it clear that, that look, we just want the company, Hobby Lobby, the owners who are evangelical Christians just want to stay out of this. They equate four types of contraception to abortion. Why do you think women trump that in your view? Because we live in a country that actually says if you're a corporate citizen you have to play by the rules and one of the rules is that you don't get to impose your own ideological beliefs on your employees that's exactly what happened today and um, I think it's scary I think it's going to be a problem for us moving forward and at least there are other cases in the pipeline as we speak challenging other provisions in Obamacare and specifically uh, companies who are contesting coverage of all types of contraception so will your fight continue. Our fight absolutely will continue. In fact, we are calling upon Congress today to right this wrong and make sure every woman in this country has access to any kind of health care that they need. Elise Hogue, thank you very much. Thank you. Carol? All right, Pamela Brown, Elise Hogue, thanks so much. I got to take another break. I'll be back with